decades and some stranded Muslim pilgrims at the Hajj village in Accra accusing the Hajj board of preferential treatment in the selection of people to employ on the last flight to Mecca. Speaking to TV3 on conditions of anonymity, they noted they have been waiting for days hoping to join the millions of pilgrims embarking on this year's Hajj in Saudi Arabia. Chances are that these pilgrims will not be able to make it to the Holy Land this year as it's as scheduled, 11 flights have all taken off. Now, the remaining pilgrims are alleging that the board is favoring party functionaries and people close to them in what will be the last flight to Mecca. And for the first time in many years, the Hajj, Ghana Hajj board ensured that the 2016 Hajj pilgrims started in Tamale. Four instead of three scheduled flights, which were supposed to airlift some 1,500 wood be pilgrims, rather I left at 2,000 will be pilgrims in the three northern regions directly to Saudi Arabia from the Tamale International Airport. The rest could not fly from Tamale where scheduled to travel from Accra, the Hajj board has said. And this afternoon, I do have Mohammed. I mean, he is the Deputy Communications Director for Hajj. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Wendy, for and Thanks for your time. I'm grateful. Now, I was speaking to you off camera. You were telling me that the last flight has been sorted out already. Yeah, well, you know, as you were indicated in your preamble, the 11th flight had already took off. That was last week, Tuesday. So what we're doing now is like a mop-up where we are looking forward to have the 12th flight that uh, would be able to lift the remaining programs that we have. Before we even go to the selection and the criteria, the selection criteria, I should say, initially 11, it should have been the 11th flight and mm. that was all. Yeah. And now you're mopping up with a 12th flight. Yeah. Could this be because people have raised concerns that you were favoring government functionaries and people who were close to you? That's how come you are organizing the 12th flight, which will be the last, I should say. No, you know, this allegation of even government functionaries is, um, it is really unfortunate because this is a religious affair. It's not a political affair. So where would people get this information that some people have been given some special treatment? I don't think this is right. You know, the process is that we have made it clear to Ghanaians from the onset. It even started in 2013 when we took over. Our quota is 5,424. And this okay. year we've decided that per the number that we have, we think the 11 flight will do based on the capacity, mm -hmm. because each flight is taken on board 500 each. So it means that looking at the permutation, we need 11 flights. And then the pilot project in Tamale was meant for only three flights. Okay. But in the process, we realized that we still have some people, more people in Tamale. Quickly, we have to revise our note and then added one flight in Tamale. And then all of us moved down to Accra to continue with the process. That is flight number five to the 11 flights. Mm -hmm. You know, but in the process, we realized that uh, we still have some numbers because this year when we went to the conference in Saudi Arabia, we made a special request that are uh, looking at the number that we have, people, we still have people who are still passionate, who want to travel. So we made a request of 1,000 slots. And the Saudi Minister of Hajj agreed. that In addition to, to our, five, in addition to the five, four, two, you mentioned. Absolutely. Okay. So by that one, we kept it to ourselves. And then when we came, after we've opened the payment, we've closed it and then so we came back to sort of extend it because of certain reasons. We've been taking note of the additional thousand. So people started paying. Then along the way, this request was not actually met by the Saudi government. Okay. The embassy here says that, look, they were asked not to offer that. So the number that came, okay, with the, with the, with the intention of supporting them became null and void. So that is where we have problems that we have overpayment and we cannot really sustain what we have. So that is the challenge that we have. We are managing it. We understand their pain. We told them that, look, it is a very good intention, but unfortunately, it could not materialize. So that's the reason why the clarity, why we're, we're still hearing that people are stranded. Not that the word stranded will not fix in this situation. Wendy, if you have followed hard, you know, operations in this country, the last minute are all used chaotic in court. But be shouldn't be, it be, d be addressed if it happens when every the, year? When we are addressing it, because if you look at our antecedent years gone by, 
compared to what we are doing today, we have really improved upon what we have in the past. I, yes, I agreed. All the challenges that we have, I believe that these are the things that we need to see on our way to progression, see on our way to developing the system that we have now. Agreed. All that happened for me, I'm not excited because for the past two weeks, sleepless night, answering phone calls, I mean, responding to text messages, email, I don't think that is exciting. But all the same, I think that we are moving on. Now, so in all, you said that 12 flight will be leaving tomorrow. T tomorrow. At what time? No, tomorrow in the morning. Tomorrow in the morning, we have to make sure that those who have been given their passport would have to come for us to take good notice of them. And then those that are here to receive their passport with the visa, we have to make sure they will also get their passport and then the boarding pass. And then by 6 p.m. in the evening, they will go through the departure formalities. And I hope that uh, by 2.30 a.m. on Monday, then the air flight might take off to Medina. So if I got you clearly, the thousand is out. Is out. So the Hajj committee is still sticking to the five thousand four hundred and two. Uh, five thousand four hundred twenty-four. Four hundred and twenty-four exactly. pilgrims. Yeah, Wendy, we had another challenge um, during. That is why the airliners decided to give us an additional flight. The flight seven and eight, we had sh shortage. Instead of they bringing an aircraft that can take on board 500, they, they rather bought the one that took on board, I think, um, 460. And then the, the other one that came, that is the eighth flight, was uh, 461. So we, we had a deficit of 78, or 79, I should say. And then the last flight, could you believe it, Wendy, some of our programs, 150, failed to sort of uh, board the flight simply because their things were not allowed to go intentionally 150 so the last flight even left with 150 empty seats so these are the people that we've included in the mopping up so so in all the set targets has been achieved it, we, we've really achieved that target we really achieved that target. before i let you go one thing has to do with communication and proper communication this 150 bit you're touching did they know Probably it's the best time is the person is a first time traveler wait, and we wait, definitely wait. want everything on board. Secondly, I have two questions for mm. you. And for the thousand that you had plans of making provisions for which have which eventually failed, what have you told them? Have they left the airport or they're still there no, anticipating that no. something might work the out? The number for them? is not even thousand, is 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 below even five hundred. Can yeah. you give us a specific no, number? No, I think that it was just about um four hundred and twenty five. That is the the overpayment that that we 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 actually um, saw in in the process. You're talking about um, communication. I think that this administration, one thing that we have scored, if not 100 percent, at least about 85 percent, is communication. Communicating with our stakeholders, communicating with the will be programs and what have you. I think that there are certain things that happen when they can tell you they are just deliberate. People just want to test your pulse. Because talking about a prohibited and a restricted product, we've been talking about this thing for many years, but people continue to do it. So I think that the situation, I think we have to really sincerely apologize to those who couldn't make it. It's not our fault. It was a good intention that we had, but unfortunately, it never materialized. Yesterday, for instance, some people came for their money. Others also decided that they would leave the money for next year. I think that is just one of the things that we have to say that it was really challenging. We've started since 2013. Wendy, this year is the best organized hard operations in my perspective. But are they we, there or they've left the airport? No, most of them have left. But there's some so, still there. No, those that are those, those that you find there are those that ha have received their passport. Okay. And they are also galvanizing, preparing ahead of uh, possible you know, take off on, on Monday All right. at dawn. Thank you very much, Mohammed Amin. He is a Deputy Communications Director at the Hatch Board.